What's up guys? Welcome back to the Fig Heel YouTube channel and today we're going to be taking a look at my weekly purchases and here's a little sneak peek. Stay tuned. Alright guys, so this is brought to you by my new book, The Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, available now on Amazon.com. It features photography by AEW Jazzwares photographer Matthew Goldberg, and a foreword by Matt Cardona from the Major Wrestling Figure Podcast, professional wrestler, formerly Zack Ryder, former Intercontinental Champion. It's over 500 plus pages, over 2,500 pictures, and 20,000 entries. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, and order it below in the link in the description of this video on Amazon. Uh, it's available in full color and black and white, and I think it's a pretty great value, guys. So, I said this is the first thing we're going to talk about. These, these, this is an empty box of WWF Salerno oatmeal cookies. I thought this was super cool. I never had them as a kid. I'm not big on collecting food, but this box just really popped for me. It's got the warrior in that signature pose. It's got Hogan with the winged eagle. It features 10 WWF wrestling superstar shapes. And here's a sample of what they looked like. Obviously, that's Andre the Giant. <sighs> very, very cool. Very nostalgic. Um, we'll talk about who else is in them in a second. And it also had this. You could save 25 cents on your next Salerno cookies box. Pretty cool. But here's who's included. It had Hulk Hogan, the Ultimate Warrior, Andre the Giant, the Honky Tonk Man, Bruce the Barber, Beefcake, the Rockers. So was that a cookie with two guys on it? I'm not sure. Dusty Rhodes, Jake the Snake Roberts, Macho King Randy Savage, and Ravishing Rick Rude. It features a little bio on all of them. I thought that this was super cool, super nostalgic, and just very unique. So I'm very excited to put this on my um, shelves. Either that one, or this one, not sure, we're redoing the heel cave uh, this summer, so we'll work on that. The only thing is at the bottom, I had to like tacky it to keep it shut, but that's not a big deal. From 1990, a cookie box, and it was pretty cheap, so why not, right? Why not? Next up, this is pretty um, special to me. So my mom actually came over and she said, I got you something, and she pulled out the Alexa Bliss Ultimate Edition, which I wanted, but I just didn't want to spend the money on, you know? Like, I love The Fiend, and I love that this is kind of connected to The Fiend, so I really did want it, and I'm super excited that uh, she grabbed it for me. It really meant a lot to me. Usually, gifts of figures mean more to me than stuff that I buy. So when people are like, oh, what's your favorite wrestling figure? I always try to say something cool, but in reality, it's usually something very basic and general that you know, isn't hard to find, but it means a lot because somebody got it for me. And this is one of those things. Uh, I noticed that the box is like the Canadian box, surprisingly. So it doesn't have the bio information, but there she is looking cute as ever. And it matches the figure. Very, very cool. I'm excited to open this one up and check it out. I love this head as well. I don't know if we'll ever get it again, but very, very cool. And I also picked up to keep it on the WWE line because it's the last wwe thing really got mattel series 91 from uh hulk hogan from amazon uh this was on sale for like 15 bucks and change obviously it's beat to hell um because that's what amazon does right i already have this figure minted on card so i wanted to get one to open um, so not too much to say about this it's really nothing new to the collection look how ripped up this thing this thing is mangled man mangled it's funny because this series I don't have many from, I pretty much only have Rob Van Dam and Hulk Hogan. And it didn't have a chase, so. Yeah. Got that. And now on to the cool stuff. Well, I think this is cool. My boy Fig Vault uh, started collecting G.I. Joe reaction figures. And I already have the Andre the Giant reaction figures. I wanna get the Legends of Lucha Libre action figures from Super 7. And I decided I'm gonna get all wrestling related Super 7 reaction figures, and here is one. I got The Rock from Jungle Cruise. I've been waiting for this to go on warehouse deals where it's super cheap because somebody returned it or it's beat up. Um, 
Now I don't collect Disney stuff, but this is The Rock. I'm gonna open it, I'm gonna display it. I'm gonna get like a G.I. Joe stand. I think it's really cool. He comes with, I never saw the movie, but I guess it's Proxima, uh, this cheetah. Warehouse deals inspected. It's just beat to hell, but it was super cheap. It was like 10 bucks. So normally they're like 20, believe it or not, these little guys. A lot of detail, it really does look great. So yeah, I'm excited that uh, I can finally start this reaction set. My only thing is, Am I going to open the Andres? I just think they're so cool in this packaging where it's centered. I have both, so I don't know what I'm gonna do, but now I'm on the hunt for those Lucha Libre ones for cheap, that's what I'm looking for. I can get them easily right now for expensive, but I want them cheap. So next up, I picked up this from my man Lance. Uh, I think it's pronounced Amber Guy uh, from Instagram, I was getting rid of my one of 3,000 uh, Kenny Omega, and he said he had this one of 3,000 uh, Chris Jericho. If I wanted to trade, we traded. Um, because the Kenny was a little bit like beat up around here, I, I sent him some signed uh, pins, and I also sent him a copy of, of my book just to even out the trade, because I don't like ever feeling like I'm taking advantage of somebody, so uh, I thought that was a pretty fair trade between him and I, and now I don't have to search for this uh, Jericho, so I'm super happy about that. It's nothing too special, because if you have his other figures, you can kind of create this on your own, but I like having the chases, and this is a rare edition, so I was happy to add it to the collection. And now I just need Mox to complete Series 8. And to complete Series 7, I picked up Lance Archer, one of 3,000, got an amazing deal on this. Um, the one thing I noticed, and I think I talked about it uh, before on my Instagram, is that both Lance Archer figures um, depict a different match, obviously, and both matches that it depicts, he had different facial hair, and neither of the figures match the, the uh, facial hair that it's supposed to. So he's got like a full beard here. It's like shaved off on the chin there. The other one, he's supposed to have like the the dangling uh, twist-tied beard, doesn't have it. So hopefully the next Lance Archer, they really knock it out the park. I mean, this guy's so toyetic, he deserves to have a great figure. And last but not least, the thing I'm most excited about, I've been waiting for months for this. I got this early um, basic series test shot prototype, Bret Hart. Uh, it's an unreleased Bret Hart with an unreleased head that never came out. Um, I've known about this figure for a long time. I know that there's there was a few produced, um, the test shots, and I finally pulled the trigger on one, got a great deal on it. The feet are, you know, a little dusty looking, but sometimes that happens with these factory rejects. And I'm just, you know, happy to, I haven't really added anything new to my unreleased shelf because i like to keep it to one shelf because i'm not getting too crazy to unrelease things but i'm gonna put them in there so i think that's pretty cool if you ask me so got some cool stuff this week uh picked up the salerno superstars cookies the series 91 hulk hogan elite the alexa bliss ultimate we got the one of three thousand uh lance archer and chris jericho Got the Jungle Cruise reaction style figure of The Rock as Frank Wolf, and the test shot prototype of Bret Hart from the early years of Mattel's license. That was supposed to be in the basic line, so yeah. Comment below, let me know your favorite thing that I picked up this week, and your favorite thing you picked up this week. Like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist and go to ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel for all your merchandise needs. And also, if you want to get some steals, because I've been getting some really cheap stuff on whatnot. They're our new sponsor, but man, uh, it's unbelievable what something sell for on there. Uh, I know somebody who got a mint on card LJN for 100 bucks. That does not go for 100 bucks. It goes for well over, so... It's all about being patient and looking around on there. Click the link in the description below and you can join and you'll automatically get 10 bucks to put toward, towards your first purchase if you click my link. So pretty good deal. You have nothing to lose there. Uh, join, look around, see if you like something, find something for 10 bucks and you get it for free essentially. So take it easy guys. Have a good one. Peace.
Are you a wrestling figure collector of WWE Mattel, AEW Jazzwares, and everything in between? Then you need Fig Heels Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist, a 500 plus page guide to over 50 years of wrestling figure collecting, featuring over 2,000 photos of action figures from the hottest brands in wrestling history. Keep track of what you have, want, and need, as well as mint on card and loose value. With a forward by professional wrestler Matt Cardona and shots by Matthew Goldberg, the Ultimate Wrestling Figure Checklist is a must-have for collectors. Premium full color and value black and white editions available now on Amazon.com. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter at Fig Heel. Pick up my book series on Amazon and my merchandise on ProWrestlingTees.com slash Fig Heel. Check out my official sponsor, Whatnot, by clicking the link in the description to join and save $10 on your first purchase.